Now, I'm not even going to try to put a limit on the YouTubers that I watch. There are so many that I watch. So I'm going to just kind of tell you the ones that I watch the most and why I watch them and what intrigues me about them. And this list does rotate, um, but overall there's a lot on here that I've watched for a very long time and that I've raved about in the past that I still have to watch. Um, I have to say just a shout out to all of my friends that have come to my crafting channel and then started their own YouTube channels. Love you all. I'm subscribed to you. You know, um, Ninju has her own channel, Ninju Crafts, and Miss Ashley Dawn has her own channel. So lots of great gals. Steela Kiss has her own channel. And well, she's always had her own channel. It has nothing to do with me. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and dive into some of the... Uh, other YouTubers that I watch. So if I were to sit here and look at like the list of who I'm subscribed to, I'm gonna see two, maybe three different categories. I'm gonna see a, a, a bunch of vloggers on here, I'm gonna see makeup gurus, and I'm gonna see like comedy, like the type of YouTubers that do really funny skits and things like that. Oh, are you gonna hit my car? Oh, boy. Oh, that was close. That was close, mister. So right now, my favorite vloggers ever, and to the point where it's the obsession, is I'm clicking through YouTube every 10, 30 minutes. That's a big range. Whatever. To see if they've uploaded a video. And it's KK and Baby J. I don't know if you guys know who they are, but I guess they're going to have to change their YouTube name because they just had another baby. And it's Karen and Kwa and they have a little boy named Jackson and they just had a baby yesterday, no, on the 31st. They had just had their other little boy, Landon. So they're the cutest family. They've been like, they were high school sweethearts. I think they're engaged. They haven't been married yet. They live in Florida and they're just the kind of people I, like if I could design and pan pick, you know, all my friends, like th they would be one of them. Like they're just good people. You would really love them. They come across genuine, kind, and they're just overall very fun to watch. I personally am very entertained by watching them every single day. I am. I'm very entertained by it. I love them. I can keep talking about it, but I'll move on. Um, but I also, I also watch vlogs from like makeup gurus who have a vlog channel. So I watch um, Chow Bella, she has her own vlog channel and I watch that. And I watch Casey Holmes, she has her own vlog channel as well. So on to that, on to makeup and who I watch. Girl, I could, I could, let me drill down that list for you. I love watching makeup videos. It's like watching art, it's relaxing. And I just, it gives me inspiration, you know, to kind of like pick different looks because, I mean, I could do makeup decently but I could never figure out like what I want to look like. I have to draw inspiration from what they're doing because I'm just not good at picking out makeup ideas at all. So favorite, favorite, favorite makeup YouTuber is Nicole Guerrero. She's been a favorite for a really long time. And I know that there's probably quite a few people who either like her or don't like her. I'm basing this base off of just her channel and her content, and Nicole Guerrero is my favorite. I think her makeup skills are insane, to be honest. Um, Casey Holmes is another favorite. I just started getting into her, but I don't really watch too much of her makeup videos, so I guess I like her more as a vlogger. Her life is very interesting. She is dating a guy that's in the military, so um, it's really, and he's going through like ranger school, so it's really interesting to kind of hear like, what she goes through and things like that. So I really basically watch Casey Helms for vlogging, but I do, I am subscribed to both her channels. Another one I really like is Alexandria Garza. Um, yeah, she's she has both. She also has a vlogging channel and makeup channel. I probably prefer her makeup channel. I really do like the looks that she does. I feel like a lot of them are very wearable, ones that I would wear on a normal day-to-day -day basis. So I really like her. A, huge favorite next to Nicole Guerrero is makeup by Anna Lee. I don't know why she isn't as big as the other YouTubers. 
I think she just started like a couple years ago or maybe a year ago. She's actually really good friends with Shanna XO. So if you know makeup YouTubers, then you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, it'll be hard to follow along with what I'm saying. But Shanna XO is also another one of my favorites. Um, I just like watching her, but I don't actually take any of the looks that she does and try to apply them on myself, but I do like watching her. She lives in like the Netherlands, I believe. And so does Makeup by Anna Lee, but I love Makeup by Anna Lee's videos. I love how she does her makeup. And then I love the earrings that she picks out and how she does her hair. Oh my God, I, I'm obsessed. Um, and then there's Tati and Tati's great because she doesn't really do tutorials. She's more informative and she tells you what's out there, which I love. And I love knowing what's new at the drugstore and what's hot or not. And she tells you everything you need to know. So Tati is really great to put in your subscription box because if you like makeup or you need to know anything about it, she'll tell you. Jaclyn Hill is obviously a really big one. I am subscribed to her, but I don't. I don't go and click on her videos really anymore. She she talks super fast, and for me that's just hard, difficult to keep up with. So, um, but yeah, but I'm a, I'm subscribed to a lot of people. I just don't always watch everybody. I'm subscribed to Nikki Tutorials, Carly Bible, Jeffrey Star, Belinda Celine. All right, the next set of sub, of YouTubers that I watch are really comedy based. Oh wait, I missed one for makeup. Uh, Chow Bella. So she recently switched her name from Chow Bella to Megan Lee, and I really love her videos. She just doesn't do enough for me. I don't, she doesn't post enough, and I, I mean, I wish she posted at least twice a week, honestly, but she just doesn't post, and she hasn't been posting on that for a while. She has been posting on her vlog, but um, I really do love her makeup tutorials. They're really good. Okay, so let's let me think okay so the next set of youtubers that i watch are kind of the funnier ones and liza kashi for sure she is so funny she cracks me up she does videos every wednesday and she i initially found her from dollar tree or something and she does these little bits where she goes to dollar tree and she's like a color for a dollar she's just super funny and i adore her and alongside her i also watch superwoman I've been watching her for a really long time, and her name is Lily Sings, and she is so funny because she does impressions of her parents. And she she like she gets into character for both her mom and for her dad, and she does different voices for each of them. She does even different like hand gestures when she gets into her character. They're two it's like two totally separate people. It's insane and so funny. I die every time. If there's one that I would recommend you watch, uh, type in Superwoman and my parents fighting because that is the funniest of all of the, oh my God, I die. It's just hysterical. Um, I'm also subscribed to like Miranda Sings and she does the crazy person bit. Um, but I don't always watch her. I'm also subscribed to a lot of like food ones as well, like Tasty, which is kind of the ones that you see on Facebook and it like does like the two second video on how to make food. Um, so I'm subscribed to that on Facebook. Pop Sugar Food is another fun one. And Bake Like a Pro or How to Cook That. Those are all some of my favorite um, food related YouTube channels. But that's my list for YouTube. I hope that you guys enjoyed it, but I have to say, like out of all of them, the one that I'm constantly on the lookout for is gonna be KK and Baby J and Nicole Guerrero and Makeup by Anna Lee. Those are, I would for sure say, are my top three. And now Casey Holmes too is really like, she is so sweet and genuine. Um, so she's also another huge favorite. Um, and that's it, those, those, that's basically what I watch on YouTube. I really hope that I communicated my favorites the correct way. Um, I hope that you guys found it interesting and not boring, but you never know, you know, to each his own on what you find interesting. I just thought that it would be fun to kind of sit down and talk about what I watch in case you want to know more about what I do when I'm not filming and doing videos and things like that. So that's it. That's what I love to watch. I don't really actually watch DIY channels. I know of Do It On A Dime. She's huge. She does really great 
very quick three minute videos on DIY. So if you just need a DIY, just go bang, bang, boom, and you're out. So she's great. Um, but I really don't watch DIYs. Yeah, I'm mostly like huge on makeup and vlogs. It's my favorite. All right, guys, that's it. It's Friday. I hope everyone has a great weekend. I don't know that it's going to be up on Friday, but I hope everyone has a great week and I'll see you soon. Bye.